In the aftermath of the Second World War, Christian Dior single-handedly changed the face of women's fashion with a sweeping departure from post-war austerity. Epitomized by the Barsby from his debut collection in 1947, the designer created a brand new silhouette which featured a small knit and waist and full skirt, falling below mid-calf length to emphasize a woman's hourglass shape. Perhaps his second most memorable style, Christian Dior's next major style change was the skirt department with the launch of his signature tulip silhouette. Instead of swirling layers of fabric, the designer's ball gowns became more stimuli to make a woman's waist the center of focus. Many of the label's dresses curved at the waist and flared out into an hourglass shape with a form-fitting V-shaped neckline. Known as the architect of fashion, Ferrer's reign conceded with the age of the original supermodels to herald in a new era of Italian flamboyance. One of Ferrer's most iconic designs, the Palazzo dress, a long em embroidered and beaded uh, uh, white silk dress. In 1996, John Galliano succeeded Gianfranco Ferrer, taking his predecessor's estimation one step farther. Giuliano's extraordinary mix of feminism and modernity were met with his love of theater, and so the catwalk as we know it today was generated. One of these most extravagant displays was the Dior Couture show for spring-summer of 1998, which was famously staged at the Paris Opera House. Here, a collection inspired by the ballet dresses was beaming with decadent gowns, kimonos, and extravagant embroideries. Uh, Dior perfume is one of the iconic items of the company. Already at the beginning of his uh, career, Christian Dior opens his own perfume company, uh, headed by his uh, childhood friend, uh, Eftler Lewis. Uh, a perfume uh, that smells like love uh, is the main concept of the legendary Miss Dior uh, fragrance. The couturier uh, dedicates her first fragrance uh, to her sister Catherine, uh, who is a Miss Dior. Uh, with an admixture of floral and uh, wood notes, uh, very feminine and very elegant, it appeared in the fateful year for Dior in 1946 and became a luxury addition uh, to the image of the new look woman. Uh, the trail of the legendary perfumes does uh, not lose its current sound uh, even today, uh, occurring new notes from year to year but uh, at the same time, uh, keeping love in the heart uh, of this composition.